May 16th, Tuesday, 1 o'clock Mountain Time, 2017. Got you over here at the USGS Healy uh, plots, the seismograms that are positioned all around the globe. And there are some unusual signatures showing up at the South Pole, the North Pole, and at an island in between. Let me show you. Here's the island in between. This is like in the South Pacific, in between the North and South seismograms. I don't know where the seismogram is located on this island, but I'm going to try to show you here in a minute. So that's in between in the South Pacific. The anomaly here, and that's what this is, that is an unknown type of a signature I've never seen on here before. And it's not just my personal observation. If you go to iris.education and they show you the types of signatures that you will see on seismograms, typically, they're nowhere to be found on here. The one that I just showed you right there, that is a strange signature. I'm guessing that this signature right here is coming from inside the Earth. That is like a long wave frequency that's picking up because you don't see any examples, natural or man-made, that we know of that does that. This either. This is from Hudson Bay up near Vancouver. Strange signature again. This is the Pacific Seismic Network. This was sent to me by uh, the farmer from uh, Michigan. He observes more than just flies, believe it or not. He's very in tune with the Earth. I told you he was, and he is. But anyway, these signatures here are very unusual, to say the least. And then it turns into a non-stop, that looks like a shortwave frequency to me. But let me show you something that I found. Um, and this is interesting at best. I, I don't know if it's a, a connection or not to what we're seeing here. But I want to show you, okay, that's the one up in the North Pole. Uh, I can even show you a picture of this place. There it is. That's the seismogram right there. And that's inside the Arctic Circle. And I'm going to show you exactly where here in just a second. Right there. Near the top of the Earth, northern Siberia. The other one is, uh, the really bizarre one is right in here. And then I'm going to show you something else that's kind of unusual. Saw this over on uh, Mimic. Watch the signal here. You're going to see bounce up from the South Pole. Bam. Towards the North Pole. Right through here. One more time. Watch. The 15th at 1900 hours UTC. So less than 24 hours ago, a strange signal was detected. Right there. That was right through this general area here. Same area that I'm seeing the disturbances on, the seismograms. Let me show you the one in uh, south. There you go, Scott Base in Antarctica. This is more like a shortwave signal. Another bizarre, unusual signal that you will not find over here on any of these examples, man-made or natural. That is a very unusual signal. So I don't know if that's something coming from inside the Earth or if that was something that we just saw there that was detected by these instruments from outside the Earth's atmosphere, possibly. I have no idea. I'm just sharing this with you because these are odd unusual observations and it involves the North Pole and the South Pole so it does uh, does this have anything to do with maybe a pole shift and these are pick, picking up strange frequencies as a result of an aspect of a pole shift I don't know I've never been through a pole shift I couldn't tell you but I do monitor these things very closely because I know we're overdue for one at least that's what we're told that energy you just saw on mimic came from here went up past that island that I just, well, I'm getting ready to show you, and it was received up in here at the Arctic Circle at, where's the location at? Tixi, right there. Comes down the entire Pacific. Here's the island that I just showed you on the seismogram that was completely, let me show you again, this one right here. Look at this. Pitcairn right back there let me bring it back up okay we go to this island i have no idea where the seismograms at they say it's located here somewhere this reminds me of 
Gilligan's Island from when I was a kid. It's exactly what it looks like, with the exception of the western side of this island is a big shelf that extends out over the water, and there's no beach. Look at that. The water goes underneath the island. It's like it's suspended above the water. So is there some sort of an underground base here that submarines use? There's honestly hardly any beach around this island. Very little. It's really unusual. And that's where this weird frequency is showing up from. Right there. And the North Pole, the South Pole, and this here is by Vancouver. Strange pulses picked up about every 45 minutes that turns into a non-stop frequency. And that's today. So just a heads up, guys. This signature right here in the Arctic Circle is not normal. I think it's coming from inside the Earth. You're seeing it down at the South Pole, too. You're seeing it at an island in between, this island right here, that I just showed you on Google Earth. So what it means, I don't know. All I'm letting you know is I'm watching it. You can watch it, too. And these are like no um, examples that you see here at iris.education. These are what you should see on these seismograms. Not that. So is it something new? It's definitely new to me. So just a heads up and thank you guys for all your comments and interest in this video about the, the farmer from southeast Michigan and not seeing flies at his farm. That's a pretty big deal. And I'm finding out that it's not only his farm that has uh, noticed this phenomenon. Thank you for all your comments. We are learning a boatload over here. Um, we all are that's interacting um, with this with this video because people are telling us um, that own other farms that they're noticing the same phenomenon. Um, we've also learned that people from all over are hearing birds that are singing at night. That's something new and, that they, and they shouldn't be. So we're definitely keeping an eye on this situation and I want to thank you guys for sending the information in, I did ask in the description box if anybody knew an entomologist or was an entomologist. And an article was sent in here about UV light and insects from an entomologist. Answers the question, does ultraviolet light kill insects? It does. And it's commonly used uh, in quarantine labs to keep potentially dangerous insects from escaping into the environment. So can ultraviolet light harm insects? Yes, it can. So thank you guys for all your, your uh, comments and interaction in this video because those are small creatures, but that's a big deal because they are part of the food chain and what has happened to them. That is very, very unusual. So is that. And we're watching both and we're trying to learn from both. So thanks again for your, your comments. Appreciate it greatly. During these uncertain times, I encourage you to be brave, be strong, be wise, and be ready. Thanks for watching, guys.